Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're gonna make chocolate mousse because it's game night. I want to have a dinner party. I want to make the most luscious of desserts because I got a really crazy game that I'm going to tell you about in a second. The ingredients for this dish are chocolate chips, a little bit of cream, eggs, a lot of cream, vanilla extract, sugar. That's it. I have put two inches of water in this pot. I am turning this pot on high because we have to melt our chocolate. Little baby pot goes in mommy pot. Add one third cup of heavy whipping cream and one cup of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. These are your normal chocolate chips that you make chocolate chip cookies out of. You might already have these. And stir that around and that is gonna melt. This recipe needs three eggs and we need to separate them. So you gotta break them and then you gotta get the whites away from that yolk. You don't want any of that yolk because we're going to make a meringue out of this for our chocolate mousse. If any of that little yellow part's in there, it's going to mess you up because the whites aren't going to get stiff and form peaks. Here's our second egg. I use a high quality egg because this is not getting cooked. I believe our farmers are very good at making very good eggs. I don't have a problem with all that salmonella. Please comment and tell me what your issues are because I know I'm gonna get some comments about issues about raw eggs on this. I've never gotten sick off chocolate mousse, off my recipe or anybody else's. But you might have a story I need to know. These yolks have no purpose in life, so they're gonna go back in my refrigerator until I find their purpose. I'm gonna say we have some action, Jackson. We had issues. When the water comes to boil, I'm gonna turn this down to medium and then give it a stir. Oh yeah, that chocolate is all glossy. I don't see any lumps in it, so now it's going off. And that's just gonna sit here and it's gonna come back up to a room temperature. So let's take it off of that and just set it on the counter. Now we're making a meringue out of our egg whites. I like to use an electric mixer, but you can do this by hand with a whisk. Done, chum. I see a peak. It's a soft white peak. I need to use my mixer again, so I'm gonna take these egg whites out, this meringue, into a bowl. Look how fluffy that is. That looks great. And I'm going to wash my bowl and then dry them up for the next step. We need to make homemade whipped cream. So this one cup of cold, heavy cream is going to go in the mixer next. And to that, add two tablespoons of sugar. One teaspoon vanilla extract and whip it up. So now we take three quarters of what we just made up and we're going to stick it in our melted chocolate and cream. I love game nights with my friends, and Odious has come up with the best games. They're really kind of racy. They got lots of fun things going on there. I suggest drinking while you play these games. Now mix up your whipped cream with your beautiful chocolate sauce. And now fold in your egg whites. Get it all out and whip it up. I'm trying to keep that air in, so I'm kind of got little roundabouts up in the air, throw some more air in there. Look at that mousse. Oh, yum. It only takes a minute to blend this. I love this dessert because I can make it a day ahead of time. So the day of my dinner party, I'm just running around, getting the ice, and doing the other final touches. I put them in a little container so everybody gets their own serving. Chocolate mousse is a super rich dessert. So that's going to be enough per person. you got to clean the rim if you make a little mess. And on top, I put a nice dollop of the other cream I had left over. And I think my guests are going to like a little raspberry on top. Bing! So while I fill these, we're going to play a little game. I have chosen a card, and you need to guess what we're talking about. I'm going to say nightclub, a lot of fun, and spandex. What's your guess? If you guessed disco, you would have been right. These games are so fun because you can't say 70s or dance or music or ball. They tell you what you can't do. There are words you may not say to give it away. And you have to have somebody in your group looking over your shoulder so they know. Because that would be in violation. And you got to guess the word. Disco. 
I love disco because some of these were PG rated. I'm not going to go through them all today. Odious has devised a really fun game and entertainment after a dinner party is awesome. My dinner parties are a lot about the food, but you got to bring a little more excitement. Hey, you may not have made everything just right. They also have a really cool game called Lists. And it's the same kind of deal, but you're writing things down. It's definitely PG or R. A dinner party is a really great excuse to get your friends together and have a great time. And by playing games, you get to know people better and what their sense of humor is about. I love a lot of laughter at my dinner parties, and these games by Odious are great for that. Click the link below and check them out. Write a comment and tell me what you like to do for your after dinner entertainment at a dinner party. I like this Odious sensor. It's one of those where you gotta watch your mouth. Because if you say the wrong thing, you get the cowbell. And this odious list one is fun because you get to write things down and they don't know what you're writing. It's right up my alley because I get to burst out and say things. Click the link below and check out these odious games. Let's try our moose. That's amazing. Stick them in the fridge, put covers on them, and chill them till you serve them. Your guests are going to go nuts when they have these. This is the best chocolate mousse recipe in the world. Subscribe to my channel and let's keep making great recipes in the kitchen, like a recipe for a really good time at your dinner party with Odious Game and chocolate mousse. Oh. Thank you Odious for sponsoring the video. I have a really great time with your games.